Look. Let's go. These fools haven't lost a game this whole fucking tournament. It's okay. You know what that means? Oh, we gotta on. give them their first fucking L. Oh, Kid is making this video for the purpose of kind of bridging the gap between the outside world with the airsoft world. To someone who hasn't seen airsoft before, it always starts off with, well, okay, so let's get into this. What started as nothing more than a hobby decades ago has now snowballed into one of the most competitive sports around the world. This was a challenge KWA was met with. The challenge to connect the unique excitement of airsoft to the everyday person. You can think of airsoft like your favorite first person shooter come to life. Right there, right there, right there, behind the... Boy, get the f off of me! It's that nostalgia of being a kid and picking up your first video game or that Chuck E. Cheese playing your first arcade game. Same scenarios, same survival instinct, and you have to adapt and react. Ooh. Oh, hey, hello, surprise. You have a headset on, you're locked in. Man, MP7 oh, got enough oh, bullets for all of y'all. In the game, and you got teammates that are yapping at you. You have to communicate and you have to learn to adapt and learn to work together. I have to, you know, apply physical skill sets and think on the fly, how am I gonna survive this? You know, they're shooting back at me. Like, what am I gonna do? You can literally just set your own player, just like a video game. You know, your own disguise, your own setup, just you being you. Airsoft is, is a real life escape where I can kind of just get away from the world and... What other place is there but the airsoft field? Airsoft has given an outlet for adrenaline junkies whose competitive spirits couldn't be satisfied with holding just another controller anymore. But it hasn't just tested gamers, it's tested athletes who are convinced that it deserves to be taken as seriously as any other sport. A sport is a sport whether you want to look at it or not, like basketball. You're putting a damn ball in a hoop. And one athlete who found his calling in the hottest growing sport, a trailblazer who grew up playing basketball, but now dunks on the airsoft field. And that's Demo. So I made the connection from basketball to airsoft for me once competitive airsoft kind of became a thing. There's always an objective, team versus team. Competitive airsoft, we play five on five, my team versus yours. There's an objective, team with the most points wins. It doesn't seem as big or as popular on the outside looking in. Until you really step in that world and see the amount of people that play and how serious they are, it's kind of hard to really gauge and understand it unless you step out there. A lot of my friends, like, they knew I played airsoft and they were just like, ah, oh, he's just playing with like toy guns or whatever. Like we would clip on Demo all the time, like, oh, hey, don't, don't piss Demo off, he's gonna pop the chunk on you, we got them <laughs> things ready. Like, we knew nothing about it, like, until he took us. As soon as we hit the door, all these kids just run up. Oh, Demo's here, da, da, da. I was like, oh, you, you do this. Like, this is real. I get them out there and they're like, yo, they're really shooting at me. Like, what am I going to do? I got got like within the first five seconds where he steps out like Rambo. <laughs> it's lit up. Just like in basketball, every player on the court has a role. And if you work together as a team, you can win. On basketball, when I'm playing defense, I have to read, you know, how I'm gonna defend this guy so he doesn't get around me. Same thing with airsoft, competitive airsoft to be more specific. I need to read the team and see how can I stop this team from moving up the field and how can I get my team to advance. In airsoft, we'll dedicate some people in the back of the field to cover the people in the front of the field to get them up the field, just like in basketball. If we're running an inbounds play, you can come screen for me and I throw the ball up court. Oh yeah, in Canada, Toronto, at Siege. Funny story with that is that uh, I grabbed the flag and Eric was like, yo, like, just threw it up. Went up for it and I dunked it. It was like a reverse dunk. And using an alley-oop in basketball, for example, it can be done without being said. Everyone was kind of just like, oh, like, you know, so I like to bring some flair, some, you know, excitement to, to the game, you know, so it's a little more entertaining to watch. People were excited that we were there in Siege. There's a lot of eyes on us on social media. So whenever we have a presence in person, I want it to be felt, not just seen. <laughs> The cool thing about Demo is he knows how to speak to his audience. YouTube! 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 What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? We don't see Demo as like Demo the airsofter or like a YouTuber. Like this is just kind of like what Demo's always done. Yeah. He has his own style of doing things, even when it comes to like on camera. I think a lot of people when they when they look at his content. They see him, you know, having fun. Yeah, it's like um, shoot each other with BB guns. That type of thing. 
Yeah. Oh, the air balls, like, like paint? You know, playing games, airsofting, constantly getting footage. He has a GoPro out, and we're just having a great time. Next thing you know, we got footage. And Dean was like, hey, I'm gonna put this on YouTube. And <laughs> next thing you know, it's, it, it just took off. Push out content, don't hesitate, you know? If you're worried that it's not gonna get enough views, stop worrying about that and just post it. It's currently, what, Thursday, and the event is Saturday and Sunday, so. You're kind of just kicking it until then. I think people gravitate towards Dylan, especially the younger people, because he's just a genuine dude. I'm blessed that I was able to create a platform out of it and that it's brought me so far. That's what keeps me going playing Airsoft now because it's deeper than just physically getting out there and playing. I know that no matter the age race, no matter what it is, I just want to inspire. Airsoft is a very unique sport and it takes someone like Demo to show people why it's unique. You know, there's a big challenge to making airsoft content. You're talking about guns. There's a there's a stigma behind it. The moms coming in the store, like, is it safe? Is there an issue with users being too young? And I think that's the natural fear of it being that they're reps of firearms. Because a lot of the moms that would ask me these, they wouldn't know, like, okay, my son's just gonna be out there running around with a gun. It's like, no, there's there's protection, there's rules, there's staff that will over, oversee everything. While these airsoft guns should be treated as carefully as the real deal, there's every reason to trust the manufacturers and officials who regulate the sport, a sport with a strict view on safety above all. It's definitely safe and it's fun. You will never get this experience anywhere else. A lot of what you see done in KWA, a lot of that is influenced by watching a lot of content by DMO, by the SYG guys, by a lot of the influencers in the industry that, that's constantly creating. The airsoft scene is a community of athletes, gamers, influencers, collectors, fantasy and tactical enthusiasts. Most of the time, all within the same person. What I want to do is use the KW platform to help grow what people are already doing. It may not be for everybody, but that's a lot of what's driving some of the fiercest attitudes in sports to do it. You can't talk about airsoft without talking about Milson. Yeah.